Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you three easy recipes that you can make inside of a steamer basket. So my name is Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com. So Christmas is here. Now people are hard to shop for, so if you know anyone that has an Instant Pot, be sure to pick up a steamer basket for them because they are a game changer. Now, if you've been here before, you might have seen my Instant Pot must-haves. I'll link it right up there in the corner for you. But the one thing I didn't include was a steamer basket. I didn't realize how easy these are that you can put right inside your Instant Pot, all of your food goes in, and when it's done, you just pull the steamer basket right out. So right now, there is a deal going on these steamer baskets. You can get a coupon code down below in my description. There's a little box that says show more. If you click the show more button, you'll be able to see the discount code and the link to the steamer basket. Now, not only do you get a steamer basket, but you also get the rings. You'll get two rings and the steamer basket for only $14.99. That's 25% off. So be sure to check out the description below and you'll be able to get the discount code. Now, if you've seen some of my videos, you might remember me talking about the rings. I love having two different rings because sometimes your rings smell like whatever food you cooked beforehand. So I use two different rings, one for my savory dishes, one for my sweet dishes. That way, my cheesecake won't taste like my meatloaf. All right, you guys, let's head on over to the kitchen, over to the Instant Pot, so I can make these three delicious recipes with the steamer basket. All right, I'm first gonna start with my delicious apple cider. So you'll need two cinnamon sticks, one teaspoon of whole cloves, one orange, and seven apples. I had two different kinds of apples here, Granny Smith and Gala. Then you have one half cup of fresh cranberries, and then a half a cup of just plain white sugar. So I'm gonna take my little steamer basket and put it right inside of my Instant Pot. Now this one's made for the six quart, it also works in the eight quart. So I'm gonna start slicing up my apples. The good thing with the steamer basket is you don't have to worry about seeds or any of that stuff because the strainer's going to catch everything. Then I'm gonna add about a half of the orange. So I cut up all seven apples and then half of the orange will go inside of my steamer basket. Then on top I added my cranberries, my two sticks of cinnamon, and then the half cup of sugar. You don't have to add a half cup, you could add a fourth a cup if you're gonna cut back on the sugar, but I like it a little sweeter. Now you're just gonna pour water in until the fruit is completely covered in water. I just wanna show you how awesome the steamer basket is because when it's done, I'm just gonna pull it right out. All right, so I'm actually going to switch out my rings. It's blue right now and I cooked some meatloaf in it the other night, so I'm switching it out for the white one. So if you get the steamer basket, you'll get two rings along with it. All right, I'm ready to put my lid on. I'm gonna close it and make sure the little knob is on sealing. I'm gonna do manual or pressure cook, whatever Instant Pot you have, and I'm going up to 15 minutes. Now when it was done, I did a quick release, meaning I turned the knob to let all the steam out. Then I opened up my lid. And I wish you were here to smell it because it smells so good in my house. Okay, so you can take a potato masher. I used a chop and stir. That's one of my most favorite things in the kitchen. And I'm mashing all of my stuff into the strainer so it will get all the juices out of the fruit. Look how awesome that is. All of the apple cider is going into the pot. All right, the other trick I used, I'm holding up the strainer and smashing my juice so I can get just the last of that delicious apple and orange flavor. So I just left my apple cider inside of my Instant Pot on the keep warm function. So then when it's time to pass out the drink, it's so easy to just pour from my Instant Pot. And there you have it, my delicious apple cider. All right, this next recipe, I'm putting my steamer basket in, and then I had some rotisserie chicken that I cooked and used the chicken breast for, and now the leftovers, I am gonna make some chicken broth. All right, so first I'm gonna add one onion that's not really chopped up, just quartered, thrown in there. Then I have two stalks of celery I'm putting in, and then one carrot or a few baby carrots just to give it a little bit more flavor. Now you can add some garlic if you want to, so then I'm gonna add eight cups of water into my Instant Pot. 
And that is all you have to do. So now I'm going to put my lid on, making sure my knob is on ceiling. And then I'm going to push the manual button and I'm going to go all the way up to about 60 minutes. Now I let it release on its own for about 13 minutes. You can do it for 10 and then I pushed the knob over to venting. When the, all the steam is out, you can take the lid off and your chicken stock is ready to go. I love this because I get rotisserie chickens all the time and now I can get chicken broth with it. Now I just like to put mine in little containers, put the lid on and stick it in the fridge just because I usually use it in the next week or so. And that's all there is to it. So the last recipe I'm gonna show you is how to do hard boiled eggs in the Instant Pot with the steamer basket. So I'm going to get 12 eggs here and just put them right inside the steamer basket. So I've heard a few different things. I decided just to put one cup of water into my eggs, but I had a few cracks. So I got a suggestion that you fill it all the way up so all your eggs are covered and you'd be good. All right, make sure that your knob is sent to ceiling and I'm doing the five, five, five rule. So I'm gonna push manual and it's gonna cook for five minutes. So while it's cooking, I actually have a second Instant Pot that I filled up with water and ice. All right, so the second part of the 555 rule is you're gonna let it release on its own for five minutes before you turn the knob over to a quick release. Once all the steam's out, you're gonna lift your lid up. You're gonna take your steamer basket out. Beware, it's gonna be a little bit hot, so I like to use a hot pad to pull that out. And then I am actually gonna put it right inside of my other Instant Pot with the ice. And the, the third part of the 555 rule is to let it sit in very cold water for five minutes. All right, once they are done sitting in there for a few minutes, for five minutes to be exact, um, go ahead and pull them out and I just put them right onto my countertop. Now this 555 rule is a game changer. It makes the eggs so easy to peel and they are cooked perfectly every single time. Now let me just cut into this so you can see how perfect it is. So I love to make hard boiled eggs once a week and then I just put them in back into the container in my fridge so I can have a snack every now and again. Now I've also made potato salad in my Instant Pot where I put the potatoes in and the eggs on top. If I had a steamer basket making that, that would be so much easier. You could just pull the steamer basket out, the potatoes would come with it instead of digging around looking for them. Alright you guys, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you next Monday.